Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Anchored Advice. This is going to be a Pisces reading for May 2022. Of course, there's a whole bunch of people out there. This is not going to be every single person's story. Take what's yours, leave the rest alone. Also, feel free to swap around the energy. I could always be talking to a cross watcher or someone that you're dealing with. Okay, and um, this month we did have Mercury going to retrograde on the 10th. Um, in Gemini, so you're going to be getting another side of people in communication because Gemini is like the twins. Mercury runs, you know, talking. Um, we also had Pluto go into retrograde. You know, it could also just be past people coming back. Uh, Pluto is like deep wounds, childhood trauma, so all that's going to be healed. And then we also have um, a solar eclipse in Taurus, so you guys could be getting more business oriented. Um, that passed, and then we have a full moon and eclipse and an eclipse in Scorpio. So that's going to be transforming a lot of stuff for us. But Pisces for May 2022. Pisces May 2022 for the monthly. So Pisces, I feel like um, you're just letting go of a lot of stuff. You know, you're you've healed a lot of things especially in your head you could have been um kind of uh, thinking a lot of like things and now i feel like you're ch trying to go more with the flow uh, you're being made more pure um you could be dealing with like a situation uh that's starting over again where we're with people it's starting over again it's like um you could have been kind of like someone doesn't or it's like you're waiting for someone for it to start over. And that's like a constant energy you're in. And you're having no choice but to be at peace. And not really have expectations as to when it happens. Um, you know, it's like you're wanting this to grow. Or just things in your life to grow. It could be with a specific person. Or this is just like with friends and stuff like that. Soulmates here. Community. You know, it's like a, you could be very much to yourself. Or it's a constant energy well, with people where like they're very... Um, um it's like they do their own thing and that could be a constant thing for you where these people come and go type of thing but they belong in your life soulmates you know it's like a soul tribe type of thing here at the bottom of the deck peace loyal heart into the sea and no place like home you see it's like people are coming back to you uh, you feel very like home to them you bring them a lot of peace but um, you know, these people, it says loyal heart. So it's like, you know, they have your back if you have their back. You know, it doesn't necessarily mean loyal body. You know, it says loyal heart. So Pisces, May 2022. One last shuffle. The answers you need are coming. So there could be like where you're very confused about someone or something. But there's a lot of emotions there. And there's going to be changes here. I feel like uh, you could be wondering like what's going to happen, what direction it's going to take. And conclusions are within reach. Um, you're about to find out. Uh, bring love into this situation. Try to be more loving. If this is not going how you planned, it's kind of like, you know, sometimes you want someone in your life some way, then in no way at all. You get me? Have faith in your dreams. It doesn't mean it can't grow. It could just be that's where you guys are at. Uh, you could be doubting that you and this person come together. You could be feeling like it's a lot of fantasy. Like fantasy you know, both balance, spiritual, past prosperity. And what do you need to release? I feel like that's all negativity you need to let go of. Um, that doesn't mean it's not going to happen. Yeah, meditate and contemplate. Hold your vision. This is all about believing, having faith, keeping the peace. You know, just letting go of the expectation as to when it could happen. This is all about that. And this is in all terms of your dreams, things you love. Um, dreams with a specific person. Pisces, May 2022. And it could be, yeah, just all that is, you know, you're worried about when it's going to happen. A word about money coming in for you, uh, for this person, that privileged lady. You know, they don't have to work or this is you. You know, your money's going to get to a point where you don't really have to work. And it's like you're going to be dealing with people that try to take from you. And you have to be careful with that. Um, main female. You see, it's like a lot of people have their eye on you and... Uh, you're going towards marriage, something serious. And it's like these people could be trying to take from you, you know, take that away from you. It's like they don't they don't want you to have that. Um, or it's like this is you, you know what I mean? It's like um, 
you're worried that, you know, with this person, like, there's still problems that, like, things, problems that you're dealing with that could be getting in the way of this, you see, journey, main, male, hold on, because it's like, Because here I feel like, you know, even if you feel like this person is wasting your time or it's like um, people are taking from you or like you're being sneaky about what it is that you want out and, and you're just focusing on work, um, you know, just continue on your journey and things will change. Because with a C main female, main male and unexpected income, it's like, you know, you're going to be having a lot more abundance coming in. It's going to be more stable. I feel like right now you guys are both working on being more independent. Imprisonment, high honor and marriage. It's like right now you guys could be very stuck. On whether or not this person is your life partner, whether or not you guys will be married, um, or you could be feeling like you know you're stuck in a marriage and that this is a waste of time. But I feel like things are going to be getting better. These are just worries. You know, you guys could be getting a divorce. Uh, that way, you guys could start going out and dating. Um, it could also be like there's some serious problems here that you guys are having with other people, other options, and that could be bumming you out. Um, Again, it's like you could be feeling like people are taking from... Well, see, I feel like people... See, false person in distant horizon. There's people trying to ruin, like, the future for you. So just um, be careful with that. Property. See, it's like people in the future are going to be coming around a house. And it could be a wealthy man. And it's because you're very wealthy. You know, so it's like they're trying to take... They're going to be coming in in the future to take from you uh, when you're married and you're, like, successful. And you have a well nice house. So right now it could just be a time where... Um, you just need to be at peace with these people, learn how to make peace with them so that they can't come bother you later, you know, when you are more successful and married and, and stable like that. Because these people could be trying to get in the way of a marriage um, or in your marriage. These people could be trying to take from you, take you to his blessings. See, Ace of Wands, there's going to be passion, new be passionate new beginnings here. Uh, right now, it's just a time to take care of your responsibilities. And that could be um, why things are kind of stagnant right now. But you can't help but wonder, like, what's going to happen. The Tower and the Page of Wands. You know, you're going to have people messaging you um, that could have took a lot of your time and your money. Uh, it could be an Aries. A father even is going to be kind of breathing down your neck, wondering what you're doing all the time. And you're going to be like... Like, it's like they're wondering if you're sneaking or stealing or, like, robbing, you know, fraud, dealing with that. There could be people dealing, like, con artists and stuff like that, scammers. Uh, you could be one of those, right? I mean, hey, like a hustler type of thing. Or it's like um, you're dealing with people like that and you just have to be careful. Um, you know, I feel like you're worried. Uh, but I feel like, you know, you're going to be at peace very soon. Like, the answers you need are coming. You're going to start to see things a lot more clear. The Emperor, Queen of Swords, Two of Cups, and the Hermit. See, it's like this person's very direct. I feel like um, you, you know, you know what it is that you want. You could be very in control of who it is that you are. Four of Swords. See, it's like you're gonna be having to do some introspection and work when these people come around to take from you. Like you're gonna have to learn how to respond because with the Tower, Ten of Swords, I feel like it's the end of you being confused, and it's like you just have to do things differently. Maybe kind of speak up for yourself. Um, you're overcoming these illusions from these things that are not clear. Could be a Pisces uh, or an Aquarius. But I feel like you have a lot of hope um, by speaking what it is that you want or dealing with someone that's speaking about what they want. It's like you're very straightforward or they are. And there's a lot of faith here. Um, I feel like you're a star dealing with someone that is, right, as well with that star queen of swords main female regeneration it's like um some someone is rising up here into a star as well that could be for some of you guys uh we also have the empress you may be dealing with a libra but again i feel like the two of cups the hierophant the empress king of cups it's like you're going towards commitment you're going towards marriage it's like there's unconditional love here uh someone what's the the empress please thank you you know someone might be kind of holding back but it's because they're doing a lot of work here uh to become more independent that way they can have a commitment or it's like they're learning lessons about independence right now 
the people that you're dealing with, you're learning learning lessons because you're very you're more stable. And you see with the six of cups and the hermit, there's gonna be these people that feel left out, people that are gonna want to come forward, maybe ask you for help even. And uh, with the Knight of Pentacles upside down, on top of the Ten of Swords, it's the end of you being better at spending money than earning it. I feel like you're going to become a more of a hard worker. You're walking away from your worries. Uh, it's kind of like you really have nothing to worry about. You know, you're going to have more money coming in. Two of Wands behind me. I feel like there's decisions being made about someone or something. Or someone's making decisions to follow their dreams, follow their goals behind your back. And they're not going to be telling you. I mean, it's not necessarily a bad thing. It looks like a good thing with this marriage card, you know. I feel like um, right now you guys are walking away from people who are better at spending money than earning it. It's like being more stingy, uh, having, being on a strict budget as well. What's the Justice card? The star, thank you. See the Knight of Swords upside down. It's like these people could tend to have mood swings um, and they're going to be reaching out. They're very impulsive. Four of Wands could be twin flame, a twin flame here that wants a new start, um, that wants marriage with you, that's a soulmate here that is having faith in this with you, or it's like you're wanting marriage, right? This is something that you're thinking of, but this person tends to have mood swings. You know, they're very impulsive when it comes to spending money and being independent, like they rather ask for help. You, know, you could be dealing with a Gemini as well, but I feel like, you know, with the King and Queen of Swords here, you guys are very straightforward. We have divine counterparts for sure. It is a strong soul connection and there is new beginnings happening, you know, kind of rising up. You as well, I feel like um, you're balancing that masculine and feminine within you and you're putting yourself on some sort of pedestal that's going to be creating uh, a lot of blessings for you with that star card. It's going to be healing a lot of things in your life, making things uh, have more abundance, be long term and stable. It's a stronger foundation as well. It's just things you deserve. It's like good karma also. Two of Swords upside down. See, it's like these people are working on being able to speak up. This person is working on opening their heart uh, so that they could tell you uh, Seven of Pentacles, things that they want to invest in in the future, things that they want with you in the future, Ten of Pentacles. You know, um, that way this could be more stable and successful. Right now, I feel like you guys are both kind of chasing, like you're just chasing your goals right now and getting more balanced out in mind, body, and spirit. And that's transforming a lot of things for you. I feel like you're becoming more patient. You know, you just changed your mind about a lot of um, stuff, you know, about happiness. You could have wasted your lot, a lot of time where it's like you wanted to do it this way. You wanted to go this route. And now you're like, no, no, no. Like, in order for me to be at peace, you know, I want to be with this person. Like, yeah, they may have did me dirty. I did them dirty. But now I want to focus on myself. I want to be better. And, you know, I feel like this person, these people are going to be wanting serious things for, from you, you know, with you uh you could have been dealing with a lot of people that kind of um took from you again wasted your time and you're just kind of walking away from all the worries um and it's like you're wanting something more serious but i feel like by instead of worrying about it you're here um like well i'm gonna start working on myself to fix it the death card on top of the nine of pentacles you know it's like you're becoming more independent the people that you're dealing with are as well and that's bringing in marriage for you like success generational wealth uh, lots of abundance you know you're gonna have these people reaching out five of cups and they could be having regrets here or it's like it's time for for you to walk away from your mistakes and your regrets and your worries you know and just be at peace that way this new beginning can happen the devil card um with someone that it's a strong attachment it could also be someone uh that is um it kind of struggling again there's gonna be a new beginning with them you guys are gonna work together this is something that you could be thinking of but right now things are in the process of smoothing out financially king of pentacles uh, you could be dealing with a capricorn um but there's also like there's a new beginning here with someone that could have had addiction issues temptation issues or this is just you you know you have a new beginning in your life period you know, and that's something that you're wishing for. And now you're just here planning things in your life, maybe wanting um, someone to share it with. Wanting, it's like you kind of have your eye on, on someone that you could have uh, marriage and a uh, life partnership with type of thing. But right now with the Four of Swords and the Devil uh, and the Page of Wands, that guy's being chased by like a devil. I feel like, you know, you're just going within, changing a lot of stuff. You know, uh, you could have been better at spending money than earning it again you weren't that focused that consistent and now that's something that 
you are stopping you know you could have kind of wasted your own time dealing with something or someone and now you realize you know i could have took it more serious or i can take it more serious uh this might be a scorpio as well or a virgo or a libra um we have libra showing up twice but all right guys i'm gonna go ahead and close it out here i feel like this month you know you're walking more towards um your peace uh you know you're getting away from worries you could be worried about being at peace with someone you know it's like um, there's a conversation that has to happen. Uh, but at the bottom of the deck, what we did have was, what was it? The, wasn't the Six of Swords. It was the um, the Ace of Wands, you know, passionate new beginnings, lots of fire here. You could be dealing with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but it's lots of passion, lots of like flirtatiousness, uh, fun stuff like that but all right guys i'm gonna go and close it out here if this resonates you guys are more than welcome to like share leave a comment and subscribe much love thank you guys so much for watching please take care of yourselves and i'll be talking to you guys later thank you namaste bye